Hello, in this video we are going to discuss the magic of Wickfield trades. Alright, so Wickfield trades are the best if you understand how to trade Wickfields. So basically, when you're trading a Wickfield trade, you're just trying to trade the range of the week that has been left. That's all. We're not trying to trade higher or lower, just this range. Because if price leaves a long week, that means price has created a range and price might want to go retest the high or the low of that week. All right. So here's our first example. Our first example is we had a four hour candle, a pin bar, for that matter. Right. So what you need to do is whenever the candle closes, you highlight your high and your low. Right. So once you have highlighted your high and your low price, you can actually buy, anticipating that price will give you a, a weak feel before it goes lower. But then the only problem with this candle is price didn't create a lower week for your stop loss. So you would be waiting, all right? So first you're waiting to see if price is going to give you a drop immediately or if price will give you a weak feel right so you're waiting with your high and your low so once price is done what it, what it needs to do as you can see the next candle didn't give you much information the next candle was giving you a sell signal but it did not go down right so let's say you have sold and your stop loss right here right the next candle invalidates your sell however you understanding that price has very high chance of doing a week for what are you waiting for your next confirmation and boom there is your next confirmation the big green candle that covers the previous two candles that's an engulfing candle that's a confirmation candles the confirmation you have your zones already there high in the low price is refusing to go lower so that should tell you something so if price is refusing to go lower, where else is it going to go next? It's going to give you the weak fill trade. As you can see, price gave you the weak fill trade. So let's say you have missed this opportunity. What did price come back to do? Well, this was the law of your weak fill trade, right? Price came back for the retest and gave you the full trade. Perfect weak fill trade. This could have actually hit TP because you would have bought. You would have bought the moment this candlestick closed, right? Stop loss just below our low, right? Always include your spread in your stop losses. Don't make that mistake, all right? So if you didn't catch this entry, then what other entry are you, are you, are you watching out for? You watch price go, then you watch for it to come back. For the retest, remember gold always retest for you to give you that with you. Trade. So that's our first example. We can say our next, we can have our next example right here. So you can see we have a we have a week. We have a week. What did price do? Let's start with the first one. Price gave you a high and a low, right? Very spin, but price has already rejected a high. Your previous two candlesticks are bearish. Price gives you a pin bar, a bearish pin bar. What is it going to do? It's going to give you a weak fuel, nothing else. It's not going to go higher because your previous candles are already rejecting. And this is a pin bar, a bearish pin bar. That means price would definitely give you a weak fuel. That's why I say weak fuel trades are magical. All right? So you enter the moment the candle closes you put your stop loss above the high because for price to invalidate your trade it has to break above that means the trend has changed or the, the direction has changed so you sell stop loss above the high and what does price do it dropped so if you didn't catch this sell what you do you wait for a retest right and guess what what the retest did the retest gave you another weak field trade so now here is the complicated but you see price on this week field let's say price closed 
around this area, right? This pin bar did not close above this pin bar, all right? So this was a retest. And what did the next candle did? It gave you the perfect signal because if this was strong, if there was bullish pressure, the next candle would have gone higher. But there was no bullish pressure. That's why price dropped, giving you the weak fill. Stop loss would have been above, right? Just above our high. Yeah, price would have tried to get you out, but it did not. As long as you are careful with your stop loss. So how are you careful with your stop loss? Remember, we are using this candle. So your stop loss should have been above that. Because if this is going to go higher, price needed to break this high, but it didn't. The next candle gave you the confirmation. So you sell stop loss, weak few trade. In this, you can even expect it to go lower as your second TP and your third TP because price is rejecting this high. If price is rejecting this high, then what is it going to do? It's going to go lower. The second entries would have been right here. Another week to be filled and price gave you the perfect confirmation that price is going lower. All right. If you don't make it complicated, it's pretty easy. It's pretty easy. Let's see a bullish week fill right here. Right. Don't mind the lines. We remove these during our weekly analysis. So check that out. So if you see this candle, weak fill, then it to be filled. Right? So what we do, the moment the candle closes, we put our low and our high. All right? So what are we expecting when the next candle closes? Yes, the next candle can retest the low first before it goes higher. That's why I always say you should always watch out if the candle is creating the upper week first or the lower week first. That, if you understand that, you can get a pretty good trade. So price retested the low. So when you see price retesting the low, then you know you can actually catch good entries around here, right? Because you don't have much to lose. If price wants to go lower, your stop loss would have been somewhere just below. So you have a pretty good risk to reward ratio right here, right? So you can take the risk. It's a pretty small risk, right? Price retested the low and then it went higher. So confirmations, let's go on the one hour time frame. In the one hour time frame, we already know on the four hour time frame, this is the week that we're watching out for. This is our low, right? So the candle closed, right? The candle closed with these two candles. These are the last two candles. This was the last candle. That's where you get the bullish body from this candle. What did the next candle do, right? So now, the next candle, it came down, retested the low, and then it put all the way back up and it closed as a bearish pin bar. But here's the tricky part. The bearish pin bar did not close below our previous candle. That's your signal right there. Because if this candle wanted to go down, it would have closed below this area. Then that would have showed us that price is going down. But price rejected to close below. It went down, but it put back up and it closed above, right? It's a small candle. You, can, you can't even call this a pin, but because the upper wick is long. We do not like long upper wicks on a pin bar. However, it might be bearish, but it rejected to close below our previous 30 minute candle. So if it rejected to close below our previous one hour candle, this is an hour, one hour candle, my bad one hour candle, let's go on the 30 minute time frame, right? We're getting deeper. On the 30 minute time frame, you have your confirmation, all right? Because price has been ranging around this area, right? Gave you another good bearish candle, another good bearish candle. This was the closing of the one hour candle right here. However, the 30 minute of the new candle Check that out first. Yeah, the 30 minute of the new candle closed bullish. So if it closed bullish and you are entering the moment the candle closes, so maybe you're entering around here, 
where is your stop loss just below our 30 minute candle that's a very good risk to reward ratio for a trade that you're expecting to hit tp on our wick fill right there perfect trade wick fills are the best to trade so i hope that's useful we'll do more examples in the future but if you master wick fills they are very profitable they're very profitable i hope you take the time to understand them that's all